over to the book of Ephesians. We're his workmanship created in Christ Jesus under good paths which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. So every born again one, every person that's been created in Christ Jesus, every one has a path. And it's a good path. Could we use the word plan? Oh, yeah. When Jesus said, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your plan be done on earth as it is in heaven. When were these plans made? Before the foundation of the world. Now, let's go back to the first chapter of Ephesians and, and let's renew our minds on that. Verse 3, blessed, say blessed, blessed, be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus, the Anointed One, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in the Anointed One and in His anointing. God anointed him, and we're in that anointing with him. Boy, you can preach on that the rest of the evening. According, it's according to something. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus the anointed one, by his anointing to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Good pleasure. Good pleasure. It got good pleasure to bless you beyond anything you can what? Ask or think. Before the foundation of the world. Now, how many of you know God never changes? Whatever he did before the foundation of the world is still his plan. And before the foundation of the world, he said you are blameless. In his love, in his mercy. Absolutely. God knew you before the foundation of the world. He knew you before there was a devil. He knew you before any sin ever happened. He knew you in absolute glorious perfection. Now, he ain't never changed. And I'll tell you something. He's never changed his mind about you. He don't see little ugly you. No, 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 darling. Uh-uh. No, no. No, no. He still sees you, the blessed one. And he moved heaven and hell to get you back like he sees you. Now, it's good for us to receive it. Yes. Amen. Amen. He has a plan. And it's blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Amen. And he never changed that. Well, I'm going to have to cut a little off of that, I guess. I mean, he's such a dummy. Uh, you know, and he's done Look at all that stuff he's done. No, he ain't looking at nothing you did. He'd already wiped out everything you did by everything he did. Now we're back to blood again. The blood that made you not. The blood that put you back where you belong. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. According to what? His good pleasure. 
Do you remember the scripture? We won't turn there over in the book of Isaiah that said he's blotted out our transgressions. And remembers them no more. no more. Listen, he said, for his sake. He said, I remember him no more for my sake. I said, Lord, now I know you did that for me, but how come you said that for your sake you remember him no more? He said, well, let me ask you something. You want to remember ugly stuff about your children? I said, no. He said, well, I forgot it. So quit bringing it up. See, once you've laid something on the altar, once you've confessed that sin and believe you receive your forgiveness and cleansing from all unrighteousness, he ain't never bringing it up again. And for you to bring it up is really an insult. Amen. The only place it exists is right there. Now it's time for you to get it out of there. You remember what the apostle Paul said, receive us. We have wronged no man. We have defrauded no man. What are you talking about? This man, <laughs> this man, this man persecuted and killed Christians and he said, we've wronged nobody. Remember what else he said? Forgetting those things that are past. I press forward. Amen. By faith, see, we have the mind of Christ. By faith, we have the same anointing to cleanse and wash by the water of the word our past memory until it is gone. Yes. I'm not talking about just kind of where you can ignore it. No, G-O-N-E, gone. <laughs> now this helped me, and I mean, you know, it's, it's yours if you want to use it. One afternoon, I was dealing with this in my own life, and something kept coming up. And I started to say, I refuse to remember that. But something else came out of my mouth. And I said, I do not recall that. I had never stopped to think what the word recall means. Somebody asks you something, you say, I don't recall. Well, what, what we thought we were saying was, I don't remember. Listen to what we actually said. Recall. I'm not calling that memory back up anymore. No, no. I, uh -uh. I call things that be not as though they were. Glory to God. I do not recall that. Thank you. And the devil flashes something across your mind, you just tell him you're a liar and the father of it, and I don't recall that anymore. No, I don't recall that. And every time he tries to press you with it, say, uh-uh, I don't recall that. And then remind him again, I repented of that before the Lord Jesus Christ, and he is faithful and just, and he forgave me that sin and cleansed me from all unrighteousness. Listen now. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to stir you up a little bit here. Don't write me no, don't, don't, don't write me no ugly religious letters here. You understand? Because I ain't going to read it. And ain't no use you wasting your time being ugly at me. Now, if I haven't acted on the Word and I haven't actually stood on the Word of God and have it in my heart that I am forgiven of that thing, not when you feel right about it. Feeling don't have nothing to do with it. It's the fact that it said he is faithful and just 
to forgive us our sins. When? When we confess them and cleanse us from all un all, 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 all unrighteousness. Well, I'm not going to stand up and say that I'm not cleansed. Not after I read that. What's going to be my confession of faith? I am the righteousness of God. I am cleansed from that unrighteousness. I took my cue from the apostle Paul. I didn't do that. <laughs> That's what he said, didn't he? Oh, I can just hear some of you going, oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, you just go on and hang on to your sin a while long if you're enjoying that. <laughs> Glory be to God. Oh, yeah. I do not recall that. The devil keep pushing you. I, didn't re I do not recall that. And he keeps pushing, say, Satan, let me tell you something. I didn't do that. And if you want to talk to, to, to about that, you talk to Jesus about it. He's the only one who remembers it. Oh, excuse me. He don't remember it at all. <laughs> that don't leave a devil much, does it? <laughs> he ain't going to Jesus talk about nothing. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Oh, he forgot it before I did. <laughs> now you go ask Jesus if I did it. What's he going to say? Yeah, but I forgave him. No, because he don't remember the sin. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere now. I mean, there's some stuff the devil been haranguing you about. <laughs> that happened when, you, when you're six years old or something. <laughs> Some way, way on back on it. Don't, don't let him, don't, don't let him do you that way. No, no. Turn the gun on him. Now, hey, I want to remind you of what you did, fool. You used to be anointed. You used to be the anointed cherub. You used, you used to be, you used to be top angel. And you ain't never coming back. You can't get it back. You lost your anointing. You got kicked out of heaven and I'm going there forever. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Hey, I can see you now sailing off out there into the eternities in a lake of fire. Well, I can see it now. How you like that, devil? You enjoying that, thinking about this? Where'd he go? Where did he go? That's what Jesus meant when he said, he is a liar and the father of it. Scripture said he was perfect in the day he was created and iniquity was found in him and the iniquity that was found in him was the lie. And when you say that, see, he, do, he does not want to think about that. He does not want to recall what he'll never get back. And he is fear. The way God is love, he is fear. He is, listen to me, scared to death. That's the reason you resist him, you flee. And the meanest thing you can say to him you're a liar and the father of it. And it just flashes it all in front of you. Well, he ain't going to hang around and listen to that. 
you got to go. I think you ought to give the Lord praise for us. <laughs> All right, good plans that we should walk in them. Now then, yeah, thank you, Lord. Let's, <laughs> um, you believing with me, you said? Well, believe with me right now. I could go in about three different directions at once here, and, and there's only one way I need to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you, Lord. I appreciate that. Let's go to 1 Corinthians now with that in mind. And let's look where we were yesterday evening when we read in the 12th chapter, the 18th verse. But now hath God, notice it says hath, H-A-T-H, past tense, has already, has already. When did he do this? Before the foundation of the world. God hath set the members, every one of them, in the body as it has pleased him. All right. Now then, last night we read Psalm 35. Let's go over there and look at that. Psalm 35, 27. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause or my righteousness. How do you favor God's righteousness? That's when you uh, attend to his word, you incline your ear unto his saying because he's right. And if there's a difference in his opinion than yours, forget yours. <laughs> Even if it looks like if you do, my goodness, it, that, it, this is going to get rid of everything that I wanted to do. If that's the case, everything you wanted to do would have killed you. He got a plan, and he's right the first time. And now, remember, he set them in their place, every member in the body of Christ, every born again, everyone has, has a plan. Everyone has a divine path. Everyone, everyone as it pleases him. Amen. Amen. So now look. Look at, how, look at how important this is. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. His righteous cause is his plan for your life. Yea, let them say continually. Let them say continually. Continually. That means don't ever say anything else. Say what, Lord? Let the Lord be magnified. Let the Lord be magnified. I don't care what you come up. Let God be bigger than this. Let God be. God is bigger than this. I say it. I say it continually. I rejoice and I'm glad. His plan is the big plan. His plan is the right plan. His plan is the prosperous plan. Glory to God. Who takes place pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Well, now listen, I serve him, yes, and so do you, but we're more than servants. We are, we are children. We are family. We are joint heirs with Christ. The more you chew this, the bigger it gets. Amen? Ah, now, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. He takes, he has pleasure 
in the prosperity of his servant, and my tongue will speak of your righteousness and of your praise day and night. Now, go back over to the book of Philippians. Now, you have read this over and over and over and over. You've heard scriptures, you've heard this scripture read, you've read it yourself, and tonight you're going to find out what it means. Verse 13, 2, 13, Philippians 2, 13. For it is God. Now, wait a minute. That's the same God that designed a plan for you you have your specific perfect plan. You have a place of grace that's cut out just for you. God made you. He knows what you like. He knows. He knows. Oh, he knows what. Flip your switch, boy. I'm telling you. He knows what you enjoy. It is God which works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Now, I'm inquiring about the plan. I need to know this plan. I, I, this thing is, this, uh, hey, this is what I'm supposed to be, where I'm supposed to be, how I'm supposed to be. This is God's plan for my life. Partnership is being prayed for daily. Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and their staff pray for their partners every day. In return, they've asked their partners to do the same for them and other partners. As a partner, you have a daily prayer covering of tens of thousands of people worldwide. I release the blessing of Abraham, the blessing of the Lord. I release it on my partners. Be fruitful, multiply, Resupply the earth, subdue it and have dominion over it all the days of your life and rejoice and enjoy all things richly that he has given you. I believe that the prayers that Brother Copeland prays for all of his partners, they manifest in my life daily. Knowing that I'm being prayed for yes. every day. Yes. Me too. That means a whole lot to me. I know that I'm never without prayer. We've all seen programs where an evil mastermind tries to take over the world, but that's not the way our God works His plan. His good plan is for your success. When you know how you fit into His plan and make the quality decision to be there, you can live to your full potential. God's Master Plan for Your Life, a book by Gloria Copeland, will help you discover how the Master Creator created you as His masterpiece and gave you a specific role to fulfill while on this earth. Also, Kenneth Copeland and Keith Moore candidly share key insights in Grace, your place for opportunity, ability, and success. In this CD or DVD series, they expound on how God's grace prepares you for and places you in your part of His great plan. They share key scriptures as well as life examples of how you are graced for your place. Knowing who you were made to be and how you fit into His plan will bring you satisfaction and fulfillment. You can thrive and flourish in God's master plan for your life. Know who you are in Christ and where you fit into God's master plan. Order God's Good Plan Package at a special price of only $29.95 and save over 30%. Go to kcm.org slash TV special or call or write to us today. Thrive and flourish in God's master plan. Live your life to its full potential and receive God's grace to carry out His plan for you. For an additional 10% off, order your package online. The word of the Lord came to Brother Copeland regarding 2014 saying that this would be the year of our victory over death and the year of manifested love. Now, what is manifested love? It's easy. It's Jesus. And that's why my grandparents have this special gift for you. It's a teaching by Brother Copeland entitled, The Force 
of forgiveness. Did you know the same power to forgive is the same power that heals? It is a spiritual force. Forgiveness is an act of obedience. And that decision, is, it's yours because faith works by love. So where there is no faith, there, or where there is no love, there is no operation of faith. And where there is no faith, no Jesus, no power, no results. And you need to make that decision to forgive. And there are times you make it and you make it and you make it again. But when you do, the force of forgiveness begins to go to work in you. And love is growing and perfecting. And the word says that perfected love casts out all fear. And that is the victory over death. So we want you to request your free teaching either on CD or you can get it as a digital download at KCM. Now, remember the Living Victory Las Vegas Faith Encounter. It, it starts tomorrow in Henderson, Nevada. It's May 30th and 31st at the M Resort. Brother Copeland's going to be there. Uh, Stephen Kelly Swisher are going to be there. And they want you to come join them for this great time in the Word of God. Step into this, this atmosphere of love, this atmosphere of faith. Come meet other partners. Make some new friends. Get the Word down in your heart. Receive direction. Receive healing. This is an excellent opportunity to get into the Word and watch it change your life. Make an appointment uh, to encounter faith, to encounter the love of God at this meeting. This is your year of victory. Amen? For more information about this meeting, you can go to kcm.org. Don't miss this broadcast again tomorrow. It's going to be so powerful. You'll be glad that you saw it. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy Pearson's reminding you that Jesus is Lord. Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have built their lives around giving. Go to kcm.org slash TV special to receive your gift on CD or digital download of Kenneth Copeland's teaching entitled The Force of Forgiveness. Learn how to walk in love and forgiveness, the basic ingredients to a life of faith. Take your prayer life to a higher level. Discover the true power of forgiveness today. For the CD, one per household, please. Offer good for 30 days. This is your year of victory. Come to the Southwest Believers Convention June 30th through July 5th at the Fort Worth Convention Center in downtown Fort Worth, Texas. Join Kenneth and Gloria Copeland along with Jerry Savelle, Jesse Duplantis, Creflo Dollar, Keith Moore, and Bill Winston for a week-long conference that will change your life. Receive God's Word, His wisdom, and His plan to live a strong, healthy, blessed life. Bring your family and friends. There'll be live Spanish interpretation, pre-service prayer with Pastor Terry Copeland Pearsons, exciting youth services for teens, and Super Kid Academy for children. Come to a special partner meeting with Kenneth Copeland Friday morning. Then join Gloria Copeland for a powerful healing service on Saturday morning. Celebrate the 4th of July with us as we honor God for His goodness and celebrate our nation's birthday. It's all free June 30th through July 5th at the Southwest Believers Convention. For more information, go to kcm.org southwest.